Hello everyone and welcome back. This time we will be discussing about the following researcher made instrument, standardized instrument, modified standardized research instrument in relation to validation and reliability. So we are going to discuss with the first one which is researcher made instrument. So when we use the term researcher made instrument, it literally means this is a data gathering tool, whatever instrument you will be using that was created and crafted by the researcher or the writer. So by definition, a researcher made instrument refers to a measurement tool that is created by the researcher as explained earlier, specifically for or fit for their study. So these instruments are tailored to the unique characteristics and objectives of the study that is being conducted. So the instrument should fit and should help attain the objective, the goal of the study being conducted. They are designed to gather data relevant to the specific research questions, variables, phenomena, under investigation to continue researcher made instruments offer the following they offer flexibility allowing researchers to customize questions and response formats based on the study's focus however they need careful development of the instrument to ensure validity and reliability so again, basically, the, the concept or the idea when we use the term researcher-made instrument is an instrument, a data gathering tool that was crafted and formulated by the researcher to help attain, answer the objective and the goal of the research or the study being conducted. Now, in relation to validation and reliability, we will be further discussing the difference between uh, validation and reliability on the latter part of our discussion. But for this particular part, a researcher made instrument should, number one, be validated and should have the reliability tested. Okay, so that is a yes for both validation and reliability. Again, we will be going to the differences between reliability and validity later on in our discussion. So the next type of research instrument is what we know as a standardized instrument. So what do we mean by a standardized instrument? So by definition, a standardized instrument is a pre-existing measurement tool. A pre-existing instrument, meaning this was already created by another researcher that was used in their respective study and you found this instrument relevant in terms of goal, content, and even the domains relevant to the study that you are conducting in every way. Okay, so in short, they are similar to, to all aspects. That is why you consider this instrument and would like to use this instrument, this pre-existing instrument in your research paper. Okay, so again, to continue, it is a pre-existing instrument tool that has been developed and validated by researchers okay the writers of the previous study it has already been validated so that is why in this particular part there is no need for validation and if there is no need for validation there is also no need for the reliability test okay to continue often through rigorous testing and standardization procedures. So this has been already va validated or has gone through the validate validation process rigorously testing 
and uh, procedures that standardizes the instrument. So there is no need to go through the following anymore. Next, these instruments have already established reliability. That is why there is no need for reliability or validity and are designed to be administered consistently across different settings, different locations, different populations. If you have the same issue, if you have the same topic that you are investigating, but you have a setting wherein you would like to use this particular issue, then you can use this instrument and apply that to your specific setting to the setting where you are conducting the research okay so uh it has this particular characteristic when you use the standardized instrument you usually use it in a different setting and population standardized instruments enable researchers to make comparisons across studies and populations enhancing the generalizability of findings, examples, include established psychological assessments, educational tests, or health surveys. So basically, the key concept or the main idea behind the standardized instrument has already been encapsulated in the body where we have already discussed. Okay, so can you use a pre-existing tool for your research paper? The answer is yes. Sir, isn't that uh, violating any ethical standard? It would violate an ethical standard if you do not follow ethical protocols. What are ethical protocols? So what do you need to do if you are going to use somebody else's instrument in the study that you are conducting. So the first one is you have to ask permission, to get the permission from the writer or the owner of the instrument. So you have to establish communication. You have to uh, inform the owner of the instrument that you will be using his instrument in your uh, study, the study that you are conducting, okay? And then you will have to inform them of the setting, the population, so that the owner of the instrument can also make sure and check that the instrument that uh, he has is fit for the study that you are conducting, okay? So those are... Uh, the ethical protocols, basic eth ethical protocols that you need to do when you are going to use and borrow standardized instruments for the study that you are conducting. Okay, to continue, the modified standardized instrument is the next one. So what do we mean by modified standardized instrument? Since we have already established what a standardized instrument is, Let's continue by reading the definition before we discuss a modified standardized instrument is a pre-existing a pre-existing measurement tool the same with a standardized instrument that has been altered okay uh, there is a modification in the content or the domains or the elements of the standardized instrument okay it's, in order to customize and make sure that the instrument would fit and answer the study that you are conducting. That is why you altered the standardized instrument, therefore having the name modified standardized instrument. Okay, or adapted. The instrument, the standardized instrument has been adapted to better suit the specific content context or population of the research study so it was altered in order to suit the need of the research that you are conducting okay again that is what we call the modified standardized instrument there are protocols still to follow we are going to discuss that later 
So researchers may make modifications. So researchers can make modifications. But again, there are protocols that you need to follow. So researchers may make modifications to ensure cultural relevance, linguistic appropriateness, or to address specific research objectives. Okay. While modification can enhance the instrument's applicability to the study, researchers must be cautious to maintain the validity and reliability of the original instrument after alteration. So, there is another way to approach this since the integrity of the instrument has already been compromised with the alteration and adaptation that was done in the instrument, it is advised that you go through the process of validation, which is a yes. You need to validate a modified standardized instrument and go through the reliability test again. If you alter and adapt a standardized instrument, Again, what is the protocol that we were discussing earlier with regard to the modified standardized instrument? The protocol is even if you made modifications to fit the research or the study that you are conducting, still you need to ask permission. And it does not stop there. After asking permission, you have to inform the owner of the standardized instrument that you will be making modifications. You are going to modify the instrument in order to uh, help and uh, better suit the study that you are conducting. Okay, so those are the protocols that we've mentioned with regard to the use of a modified standardized instrument. Now, to continue with the second part of our discussion, which is the difference between validation and reliability, we have the following. So, how do you differentiate the two? When we talk about validity, to simplify, the meaning of validity is relevant to the term accuracy. So, we need to highlight the word accuracy when we talk about validity. While on the other hand, when we talk about reliability, we need to highlight the term consistency. So again, with this, we can readily see the difference between validity, which is represented by accuracy, and reliability, which refers to consistency. So when we talk about validity, think of accuracy. Does the research instrument measure what it's supposed to measure. That is the question that you need to ask yourself when you talk about the validity of the research instrument. Is the content, the questions within the instrument valid in terms of its ability to accurately uh, measure what it is supposed to measure? in your research instrument, okay? Does it really gather relevant data that would help answer your uh, research goal or your research objective? So I've also provided analogy that would strengthen the discussion with regard to the following terms. So you can already go through the different analogies. Now going to the next one, which is reliability. I think we need to get uh, go back to the previous stage, uh, previous page, uh, because there is a phrase that uh, would help you distinguish the importance and relevance of validity and reliability in your research instrument. But before that, let's continue with the other part, which is reliability. So think of reliability as consistency. Meaning, if you use the same research instrument under the same conditions, do you get consistent results? Okay, so this is basically the meaning of consistency. So in this particular is illustration, another analogy, aside from what has 
uh, what is already presented in your screen when you hit the mark in terms of your research goal or objective you were able to hit the mark using your research instrument that is what we call accuracy if you use the instrument again and repeat the same procedure and you get the same result that is what we call consistency okay you can you can use uh, reliability through various processes like test and retest okay that is why you have uh, various various attempts of using your instrument multiple attempts of using your instrument to establish the reliability through consistency of the results uh, that you get from implementing your instrument okay so that is again what we mean by reliability next uh, in closing in conclusion in essence validity is about whether your tool is hitting the right target the objective the goal of your research so this refers to accurate measurement while reliability is about whether your tool hits the same spot consistently okay consistent measurement both validity and reliability are essential for trustworthy and meaningful research again Earlier, I mentioned that we need to go back to the previous page in relation to the discussion of validity and reliability. And this is, and this is the phrase that I was uh, that I mentioned. Okay, remember this one: a valid instrument is a reliable instrument. This is validity and reliability. Again, a valid instrument is a reliable instrument, while a reliable instrument is not always a valid instrument so i hope this was able to clarify uh, what is the difference between the instruments that we discussed with regard to researcher made standardized modified standardized and the difference between validation and reliability of your respective research instruments again thank you very much everyone and I hope to see you again in our next video discussion. Stay safe and God bless everyone. Bye.